We should black like a child. What is the missing word? I was a kindergarten teacher just for a year. I enjoy the close relationship with many children. Relationship with children are so profound. Don't you think? Let me tell you a little story. Rock a bye, baby. Many, many years ago, when, when we were babies, dear babies, do you remember? Let me watch like that video. You guys find me before we do it. As time goes by, we lose our innocence. What is innocence? When I look at them, I feel comfortable and in my spirit. Of course, sometimes they seem like baby, but I love children. Children can see, think, feel what adults can. It happened many times when I was at school. There was a six-year-old student that would not stop talking on the school bus. I asked him repeatedly to stop, but he wouldn't listen. Finally, I, I told him that we tend that let's jeep our mouse show. I said, let's jeep our mouse together. If we do, we won't be able to talk. He excited he excitedly agreed and we both jeep our mouse show like this. A few seconds later, he began to spin again. I was so angry <laughs> and I asked how can you speak if your mouse is different here? Can you guess what is that? Can you guess? He answered, Teacher, I can speak because I only take my mouse halfway. <laughs> I was so shocked and entertained by his creative answer. So I couldn't, couldn't be mad at him anymore. So I just let him talk. As much as we want it. When we meet a stranger, we always think too much someone who is good for me. Oh, he looks scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's not from the same country as me. Something like that. I have come to learn that adults calculate every move in their mind. That is so sad. I don't care. From meeting people to the job interview, adults plan everything to the tip to listen to the best outcome. Children on the other hand like straight forward. They like what they like or they tell you otherwise. When I was at school, I asked them why they love their teacher. Do you love your teacher? <laughs> I asked, why do you love me? And he mm -hmm. answered, I love teacher. Yes, he loved me. Why? I was his teacher. It's not a ridiculous answer. They don't have any reasons at all. The student's response was very simple. Because I do. He loved teacher. That's just the way he felt. There was no significant reason to convince the outcome. This mind that is very different mind as another. This is honesty. Before my job interview a few weeks ago, I was very confident that I would get hired because of my credential. I'm an experienced teacher, education as my major. I have many awards and certificates and so on. So I didn't prepare hard before the interview. It was very unknown. The interviewer asked me what my five-year plan was. But unfortunately, I only rehearsed my, what my tenant, 20-year plan was. I didn't want to improvise an answer and afraid I would sound foolish. So I just continued on by answer I had rehearsed. 
The interviewer, <coughs> the interviewer demanded an answer. The interviewer dismissed an answer and demanded I tell them from my body of flammas. Oh, I was not, I was not comfortable enough to say or I fell on the spot. As a leader, <coughs> I was not hired. Why? I was too nervous. My English was terrible. Yes, I was a calculating person. Now, I should more, more to be like my students who act on their feelings. We always think too much. We are thinking about something now too. Are you worried about something? You couldn't sleep well last night? <laughs> yeah. Please pay attention to me now. Never mind. But however, it does not appear 99% what you worry. It happens only 1% of the time. Many people already experience like that. But, however, you still, you can't sleep at night because of 1%. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's change the mind like this. Simplicity. Very simple, right? Black and white, simplicity dancer. <laughs> As I was working on the subway stairs one day, there was a woman in front of me with a twenty dollar bill diggling. Her back pocket to fell out. Other people saw this, but didn't say anything. So I decided to tap on the shoulder and let her know. Oh, uh, excuse me. Your money is sticking out. Be careful. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Her response was more than I expected, and it actually made me for the last of the day. I thought how in my teenage calculating mind, I would probably have money that to fell out. And I could take it. However, having that woman instead is worth more than that, because I still able to look back on it and smile. We always face with this situation, our mind is not the right answer. But the difficult is paying the less trouble your body is all up there. I can't? No, what I can But I am trying and learning every day like that. While I was working at the kindergarten, when the big event is coming, I would do work at 8 a.m. to midnight. Take a cab, I don't sleep, repeat it the next day, no pay. <laughs> Although I knew I loved children, but the, the stress of the job made me more and more bitter as the day passed. One day, I got angry at them. That afternoon, one of the students in my class asked me, Teacher, why do you look so sad? Is it not fun here for you anymore? How did he know that? That he was just five years old. Nobody knew how did I feel, even my close friend and my family. The student was bad behavior student. <laughs> this student, this student is the bad behavior student. <laughs> yeah, that is innocent. I couldn't believe that this innocent real child is so the real child is so lied to through me. But he felt, he felt love. He felt love the beginning. He, le he felt it from the beginning and noticed a change in my behavior. This made me extremely sad, but helped me realize what was important. I quit soon after, not just because I didn't want to be a teacher anymore. I left to improve myself as a teacher so that I could do better for these children. Yes, as I told you, 
this this student is very bad behavior student. You know, he hates to study. He always wanted to go to playground. He often fights with classmates. He always jumping on the class classroom every day, all day long. But whoever scolds him, he always smile and looks not happy. You know. He wanted to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the prettiest woman in the world, he said. <laughs> no need to answer. <laughs> Maybe no, probably most of my students already forgot me. But I still remember and I will remember forever. That's enough to me. Do you have any problems about what? Money? Your teacher study? No. Actually, I could worry about a lot of things right now. Since I came to Toronto, some people said to me, Your boyfriend of Chidan is Because you're here, he's there. Or, when you go back to Korea, you might not be able to get a nice job, something like that. But if I think too much, I can't enjoy my life. Please remember, repeat after me, honest. 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 Simple. Simple. Innocent. Innocent. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> this moment will never happen again, right? Right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I know. Many people expected uh, informative speech about popular topic or something special. Well, I decided to share an epiphany that that changed my life. I hope now my story have touched some of you as much as they touched me. And and another thing, you're totally different from children. Why should I like a, why should I act like a child? We must discard those old ideas. This is very comparison between 20 year old adult and 3 year old child. We have a similar brain function as much as 94.4% identical. Amazing! Did you know that? I didn't know that. Finally, we can fill in the brains. Here is the best solution. When you can't find the solution, you should laugh like a child. You should think like a child. You should live like a child. And for sure, 100%, we can be a better and a happier person than we are now. Thank you, Lisa. That was wonderful. Hi. What many people might not know about me is uh, when I was younger, I actually worked as a teacher's aide in a kindergarten. So I can completely relate to what Lizzie was saying today. Uh, there was one day where I was called a genius and a queen. I think the student meant king. I hope the student meant king. I'm not sure if the student meant king. But I, I appreciated the comment anyways. So I think I've got the, the child mentality thing down. Anybody that's seen my backpack knows that. Got little rubber transformers hanging off the ends of it. Oh yeah. Maybe it was the dress. <laughs> the dress and the crown. Yeah, I've got to make sure I don't put that. It was laundry day. Yeah, that's all I had left. Dress and the crown. Uh, so let's hear from the judges and find out how I'm taking it. I'll start with uh, Neil. Okay, thanks, Mark. Um, Lindsay, great. Yeah, that was, uh, that was uh, enthusiasm personified. So you have great facial expression. Uh, you did something different uh, this time, which was to change your tone um, sort of from, from part to part. You had a lot of variety in your tone. And that's, it's not exactly how you rehearsed it. I noticed that also you added some parts that were unrehearsed as well. 
So that's what I, I'm always looking for that because I've seen your presentations uh, uh, quite a few times. Uh, Michelle is on the other end of the spectrum. She this is first time for her and first time for many of you. But I appreciate those spontaneous moments. That means that you're getting it. You're in the moment and you're controlling uh, your your uh, body language, your gestures. And yeah, it was great. Uh, I think uh, this information, although it seems simple, is critical information that is mature beyond your years. So that you're realizing simplicity, the value of a simple sort of approach to things now is, uh, yeah, good for you. Uh, you're, you're realizing things that uh, many people don't realize until much later in life. So it was a very valuable uh, message. So thank you. Lindsay, had indicated this is my first time, so I'm coming from a different side. So, as he was saying, you're personifying it and helping it help you to see a, a bigger picture and to help the audience. Uh, one thing I can say as a comment, I also did early childhood as a volunteer, so I can see where you're where you're coming from. Um, first, I want to say, which many times does happen, I just want to start off with that, that you were excellent at not allowing the additional audience walking into this world because many times people kind of get off track and that was very good that's one thing I, I i just that's something i will notice right away because that's a skill that is a real skill you used your flip chart or i should say the board and um what else and you had excellent animation of your slides so that was very good it's not just popped out there but the animation really helps to engage the audience to keep them on focus so that was a very good idea. Um, your transitions were very good from subtopic. So that's like you had a to you had your topic, right? But you broke them down to subtopics, which sustained the mood, which was very good. Um, let me see here. You also, what I liked also, you supported all of your points with personal experience. And that's good, that's very good, because it helps to keep you motivated and would definitely keep the audience motivated. Also here, I have written down, you got the audience into the mood in your introduction, when you had that little slideshow. So that was a very, very um, creative idea. I was very impressed. And you had very good eye contact. And that's one thing also that I always notice. And Last, one of the things I was going to suggest was with your, oh, with your intro, when you um, had the, when you wrote it down on the screen, and you see how you used it near the end, that was excellent. And not to break the pause with the audience, one idea was as you were writing it, you could have write it out loud. So that would be like they're not waiting to hear, or waiting, okay, what's she doing? You know what I mean? It's just to capture them right away. But your conclusion was bravo. So you did an excellent job. 